for your success in life? Why being a Toastmasters is key for your success in life? Günsel Topbaş. Good evening all. Um, my name is Günsel Topbaş. Tonight, I would like to talk about how to how to deliver a powerful speech. I, I'm not sure whether you can hear me in the back. I'm not sure how much time I, I got. <laughs> so, friends and dear Toastmasters, I assume so far you must have started thinking that this speech is not going anywhere. <laughs> I hope that happened. And by the way, that is not an exception, especially to professional life when we are prepared for speeches or, or for some presentations. That's almost become a norm. The cliche and boring beginnings. Lack of preparation, therefore, they convey confidence from the start. <laughs> Loads of data, and especially that is where we are very successful. Dumping information on the slides that we prepare. And numerous slides that we can easily felt trapped and became a slave for. And therefore, we are rushed to finish the session so that we gave a hug at the end of it. And most of the time, I think that is the best part, we turn our, sorry, but to the audience and face our love screen. So it's not, not a surprise that we lose the audience, but we lose a big opportunity a far greater opportunity on that spot. And what is that opportunity that we lose, actually? That is, my friends, the opportunity to develop and to introduce ourselves as leaders. And that's exactly why being a postmaster matters. Last week, I was preparing for the contest without a subject. I was just thinking, what to talk about. And I was having lunch with a dear friend of mine. As we talked along, she came up with a great question. She asked, in your mind, what would be the three main themes that would make a speech powerful? So that inspired me for tonight's subject. That was a very good question, but not an easy one to answer, though. I told her, first, less is more. Just imagine you are going to speak in, 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 in a conference or in, in a slot with the CEO of your company. You're going to present your business. Let's take that as, a, as an example. And you are told you will have 20 minutes to spare. Highly likely, you will end up having two minutes. Therefore, it will become like an elevator talk that you need to make your message across. And who would you think would deliver a better message? Would that be the smart guy in the room or a Toastmaster? I would bet my money on the Toastmaster. And my friend asked me, how did I know that? And I told her that by personal experience, I know a Toastmaster who advised another Toastmaster to use a six-word story in such, in such a meeting. That happened to me last year. I was having a very important meeting, very senior meeting, and I prepared versions of the presentation, a 20-minute one, a 10-minute one, a 5-minute one, a 2-minute one, and the six-word story one. You may also recall that I mentioned this uh, in one of my previous speeches. And that worked perfectly. And the session was not me presenting my business to a senior. It was an experience of a peer conversation. That's what I felt when I left the room. So the second theme is storytelling. We are all after inspiring and influencing others, right? And putting your message and conveying across through an interesting story is an excellent means of that. And my friend, she asked me, how did I know that? And I told her, because I had the experience 
last year, when I was attending an international conference, and I was the moderator in a panel, which is on a technical subject, so it's on, on banking. And my slot was right after the lunch. Those of you who are familiar with international conferences would know that. That is the graveyard zone. So you're on the stage with a bunch of other seniors there, and the people across you are checking their emails, half sleepy, sipping their coffee, heads down. And I started telling a story, the secret of happiness that I told last week from Paula Coyle. And something amazing happened at that very moment. As I started, I'm going on to, towards the um, story, I started seeing the heads coming up, one by one, as the sunflowers facing the sun. <laughs> and the next day after the close of the conference, I bumped into this senior guy who works for our competition. We shake hands, he congratulated me, and then guess what he told me? He said that he will remember only one thing out of this two-day conference, and that would be that story. So people remember the stories, and they also remember the storytellers. And by then my friend was, she was looking with curious eyes to me to hear about the third tip. And I told her, being prepared, practice, practice, practice. Otherwise, you will certainly feel the heat of hell whilst you are waiting for your turn or when you are on stage. And she asked me, how did I know that? That was easy answer from me. I know that because I have sweat like in hell many times before, just because of the lack of rehearsal or preparation, despite of the bulk of the content that I prepared. So, my friends, here at Toastmasters, we are making leaders. If you're a good speaker, you build up a strong brand for yourself. If you're a good speaker, you inspire and you influence. And if you're a good speaker, you would make a change in other people's lives. That's what I feel and believe we master at Toastmasters, and that's why being a Toastmaster matters. Thank you.